Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how to repair this cracked screen on an iPad Air. Do you guys see this right here? All right, let's get this started. All right, so here we have our iPad Air first generation. As you can see, all the cracks are up all on the top. Um, this is iPad model A1475. Even though this is uh, a little bit of an older model, that is okay because people that generally get iPads, they keep them for the long term. When you have cell phones, generally people keep them for about two years and then they have the urge to like upgrade to get the new model. I believe people, when you get iPads, you keep them until they die, right? So like people have iPads for like five years or six years. Um, I've actually had an iPad second generation. That thing came out like seven years ago. I still have that thing. All right, so the way that we're gonna get the screen off is we're gonna use heat with the heat gun and we're gonna blow all around the edges and then I'm gonna use this tool right here. This nice, thin, flimsy, flexy tool and we're gonna get in the screen and go around. Let's get it started. So now that we got the uh, glass kind of broken out, as you see that, uh, we're going to take away, um, we're going to unscrew these four screws right here. All right, so now that we have the uh, four screws taken out, the, the two screws that are up here, they're hidden underneath tape. So. You just gotta lift the tape up so you can see them. All right, so then as you see, when you lift up this LCD display, you can see that there's three more screws right here, and this is where the uh, connections pop in right here. So let's just undo these screws. All right, so now you can see this display screen, how you have the pop-in connection right here. See that? So we can just set this aside. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take out this glass piece right here, and then we're gonna clean up around the edges, all this old tape that we have right here. All right, so we're gonna disconnect the home button that you see right here. As you see, there's a cable that goes all the way down through right here, and it plugs in right here. So the connection also is hidden under a piece of tape. So we'll take that out. We're gonna unplug one of our connections and then unplug the other connection. So as you can see, here's the broken digitizer, as they say, and this is gonna be the new part right here. Here's the new screen. It already comes with a Tessa tape already attached to it to make things easier, as you see. Oops, has the popping connections. It also has a home button too connected to it. But we'll see if we use that. So now that we have the screen um, taken out of here, we're gonna clean the rest of this 
little pieces of broken glass all around the edges so we can flush so we can put our new screen our new digitizer flushly fit in there okay Alright, so as you can see, the big chunks of glass are all taken out all around the edges. But I'm gonna go through it and pass through it one more time just to get any like little clumps of adhesive that are just uh, still there or like little balled up adhesive. Because remember, we wanna make this thing, we wanna make the new screen fit nice and flush in there. So when you look at it through the sides, you don't see all these like like kind of like a wave type of like you don't want to see bumps right All right, so as you can see, I went around it one last time. I went all the way around to check the uh, edges. If maybe you may have missed a little tiny piece of glass that you maybe have missed in there. Shake anything out. Maybe some broken glass could have fell in in here and you don't want to hear that thing shake around, you know, after you fix it and you're like, what the hell is that sound? Sounds like something's broken in my inside my iPad, you know, when it's a little piece of glass that's broken from your, you know, from your old screen that that fell in the cracks. So, yeah, all we have to do now is just work in reverse. Uh, we're going to connect the screen. I am deciding to keep this uh, home button on it right here and connect the screen, put the display on, put the screws in and then uh, reseal it down. Alright, so first before we seal it, we're going to want to test everything to make sure it works. So we can just go ahead and just turn it on. Let's wait till this thing boots up right here. Alright, everything is looking good. See if the home button works. Home button is working fine. All right, so everything is um, looking good. So then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna make sure that the LCD right here is clean. So you're gonna get a nice clean rag not with stuff all over it see you see how stuff has already fallen into it shake that rag out right shake all the dust out of it Let's make sure this is all clean So there's an area right here that it kind of don't like, but it doesn't wipe off. It, it looks like this is like a moldy area. So it doesn't wipe off. It looks like it's, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't want to wipe off, but that's fine. 
Maybe it's like a little bit of moisture or a stain from something from moisture that got stuck in there. But yeah, pretty much the rest of the LCD is good. All right. So then we're going to take the adhesives off right here around the edges. And there we go. Perfectly fixed crack screen on a iPad Air 1. As you see, look around the sides, nice and flush right here. Nice and flush. You could even get a hot uh, go around like this with the, with the heat gun, but that's pretty much it guys. Cracked iPad first gen screen repair i will be showing you guys more models newer models uh the ipad pros um be talking about a little bit more about the business of the ipads re the refurbishing of it if you don't have equipment you can send it out and have a refurbishing company uh refurbish your ipad pro screens or your or your newer ipad air screens so, all right, so that's going to be the video, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.